hello students welcome to my channel so in this video i am going to be solving this numerical for you this was asked in pohar university exam in 2021 fall so i have written down all the given data here the height is 50 meter the height of the well downstream water level is 3 meter as you can see this is the trans downstream water level i have denoted water level using this inverted triangle upstream water level is 48 meter this h1 is the upstream water level that is 48 meter let's write h1 here so width of the top of the tank is 8 meter as you can see from the figure and i have written all other data as such equal to this was also given in the question so from now we will try to solve this question first of all I'll, i want to let you know that we have to calculate this length this length of this phreatic line we have to calculate this length and with that we can calculate the seepage distance of this earthen dam this is the zone i have shown this this portion is magnified in here okay so this is zone 2 this is zone zone 2 this is zone 3 and this is zone 1 you have to remember that okay i'll be writing here zone 1 as well length of the phoretic line that is just denoted by l naught so we have to know that this portion from here to here this length is always epsilon time at one epsilon time at one we have epsilon here this is 0 0.367 and we have at one here that is the height of the water level and the upstream level so we get l naught as epsilon at one okay easy now what portion remains from here to here okay this portion right so to calculate the length of this portion we have the height of this portion from here to here okay so i did a mistake here so this line starts from here okay so we have calculated the length of epsilon h1 that is from here to here now to calculate the length of here to here this that is slope of the slope that is slope of the upstream slope mu slope of the upstream wall of the dam times height of the portion that we are going to be calculating the length of so height of the portion from here to here is 2 meter as you can see that is 2 meter so slope of upstream times 2 meter and rest of it is it is very easy as well so this is 8 meter from here to here that is just write it down like 8 meters same as before with the slope 2.5 slope that is downstream slope times downstream slope, slope times the total height from here to here okay so by doing that we will get exactly this portion's length okay this length okay so 50 times 2.5 50 times 2.5 now we have done 50 times 2.5 but we have to subtract this portion here because our fifty line ends here right so we have to subtract this portion right the value of this portion will be minus 3 plus delta that is the height of this portion as not that is the height of this portion right and the slope of this wall that is 2.5 as well okay so 2.5 slope so now solving this we get uh, 155.6 minus 2.53 plus delta right and 148.12 minus 2.5 delta so after you calculate the length of the phreatic line that is length of the phreatic line length of the let's already and see phreatic line to put its formula for calculating upstream discharge that is q q1 let's say the upstream discharge is q1 let's assume and that is k over 2 l naught l naught is the length we just calculated up there multiplied by h1 square minus h0 square so why did we have to subtract h0 square from there 
so you can watch the figure here the distance the cps entering from this portion and this portion cannot be added so we have to calculate only the cps entering these portions only so we have to subtract the cps entering from this portion okay so we have to subtract as known that is the height of this portion and by using this formula we get we are not which is 48 square that is the height of our downstream portion minus that's not what is the length height of the s not the total height of the s not portion this portion is 3 meter plus delta 3 meter plus delta for the square this mark is as equation 1 to calculate downstream cps this is the cps occurring in this portion of our wall so to calculate the cps in this portion of our wall we have here two distances one from below the phreatic line this is saturated zone right so in this portion cps occurs from here water cps occurs from here and another portion from here so we can distinguish this portion separately we can distinguish and calculate from for their respective distances separately we have q2 let's say q2 from this portion right q2 from that portion that is the cps of that portion which is equal to k delta k delta is the length of the height of that portion divided by slope of that downstream slope that is the slope of this downstream downstream slope that is 2.5 right so that is the slope of the q q1 and q3 let's term the cps exiting from this portion as q3 okay so cps exiting from that portion is q3 we have to calculate it as k delta over md md times log ln of that's not over delta and uh, let's put it in sub inside a bracket so downstream cps are the combination of these two right this will be added so we have downstream uh, cps total of q2 plus q3 equal to we get k delta by md 1 plus ln c plus delta over this okay that is the end equation of our downstream discharge in this portion i have just uh, resoluted this as not into 3 plus delta because the heights are 3 plus delta okay so from equation a and b let's term this as equation second from equation 1 and 2 we can get here from equation uh, 1 and 2 we get q1 equal to sorry uh, upstream discharge upstream cps equal to downstream cps right so for that we have to calculate this equation to this equation we have to equate them both so we get k over 2 and not 48 square minus 3 plus uh, delta square equal to k delta over 2.5 um, into 1 plus ln 3 plus delta by delta okay so we just got this value and you have to obtain this value by putting this value in a in your calculator by solving this value first of all you have to solve this uh, reduce this into a simpler equation uh, open this bracket and reduce this into a simpler equation and put it in your calculator for solving this to get this value how to how will you solve that in your calculator if you don't know then i will i will teach you okay don't worry 
so uh, I will show you a smaller version of the equation so that you can know the solving technique only so for example we have here six times uh, let's say the variable is let's say a so here we have variable delta so do it like this variable a by uh, by pressing alpha and a and by pressing alpha and um, this calc it has uh, equal to sign there so by pressing that sorry i missed it by pressing that you get equal to sign and let's say let's say there is 30 okay so this is a small equation you you can do many other complex equation with this technique as shift and solve solve for x it says right so it have given five that is the answer right? this is iteration error that it shows zero error so x equal to five it shows five answers so okay you can solve many complex equations with this uh, way as well i have just if you uh, if you knew this then you can skip the video okay so rest of the formula is also very easy after you get the value of delta uh, we can calculate the um, length of the phreatic line as well right and so after the getting the value of the delta put this in equation one or two put this in equation one or two here put the value of delta here and we have the value of k given in the question that is uh, sorry that is given as this is the value of k okay so <coughs> we get the upstream cps formula of the upstream cps discharge sorry so put this value of delta in either this equation or this equation to get the value of discharge that is downstream discharge equal to upstream discharge so you can take this equation one equation and get the discharge value okay